Okay, guys. Um, today is day four, right? Is it day four? I don't know. It's taken me weeks to record these. I'm not going to lie. I've been working on this for so long. Um, I actually started recording these in November and editing them in November. So now we're in December. Um, and we're going to, today we're going to talk about, um, Elder Livingston, Elder Bird, um, and, um, Elder Killian and Elder Egbert. Okay. So, um, Elder Livingston, Jody, Jody, it's so hard for me to not call you by your last names, right? You know that, right? So, um, I actually found a journal entry with you and I had been looking for so long and I know this was you and not the other Livingston because, um, the other Livingston, I met him in 1998 and this is the same journal, 1998, when we, um, smashed my nine inch nail CD. And this is just the, it's the one little it's the only entry I could find with your name in it. And it's little, but it's so sweet. So this was, um, the 22nd of June in 1999. And it says the wedding was awesome. I don't know who got married. Maybe, maybe my best friend. No, with her. I don't know who got married. Um, somebody got married. It says the wedding was awesome. Everything went perfect. I got strep throat. It really hurts. Elder AC and elder Livingston brought me, um, some medicine yesterday. I'm always sick. I hate it. They gave me a blessing, so I know I'll get better. I'm really blessed. Oh, you guys gave me a blessing, and you went and got my medicine. I am, I am used to always just be sick all the time. Now that I'm getting healthy and exercising and eating better, well, except for right now because it's the holidays. So. <laughs> so, I mean, I've gained like three pounds. Anyways, it'll come off. It'll come off. I've kind of splurged a little bit, ate some of my feelings a little too much lately. Um, anyways, yeah, I was, I was sick a lot and you guys did a lot for me. The elders were always trying, trying to help me out when I got sick. Um, so that was really sweet. Um, and I definitely remember you elder living or Jody. Sorry. See what I mean? I'm just going to keep calling you. Elder Livingston. I remember you, Jody. You were a lot of fun and we actually did a lot of work together. I don't know if you remember that, but we actually did. And it's, it's written in there, but I just kept saying the missionaries or the elders. I never said your names, but this was the one journal entry that I, that I said your name. So it was meant to be. Um, but so I want to thank you for being a wonderful missionary and, and us, um, and just being very supportive of me and helping me when I was sick and giving me a blessing. Um, and so I just, I want everybody, if, whoever's on Instagram, go over to Instagram. I'm not on there anymore. I permanently deleted my account in October. Yay. Uh, but if you're on Instagram, go check out Jody's account. What is it called? Um, Beyond Journaling with Jody. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Let us know in the comment section because I'm going to post this on Facebook before I perma permanently delete Facebook and Messenger. I'm so excited about that. I can't wait to get off of all this stuff. Me, we, parlor, all of it. It's going to be gone. Facebook and Messenger are the last two. Um, anyways, you guys go follow. I only, I'm not on Facebook right now. And I took like one screenshot. I'll put it up here of your artwork. I'm so sorry I didn't take more because that just doesn't do it justice. Guys, he's so talented. Just trust me. Go look him up. Um, you won't regret it. He does awesome work. And I can appreciate that, Jody, because I myself dabble in the arts a little bit, a little bit. Maybe I'll post some things that you can see. Uh, but I kind of left it for many years and now I'm just now um, getting back into it again. So I appreciate the dedication and the hard work right? Especially if you're a perfectionist. I, I am a perfectionist. Okay. Um, thank you, Jody, for your support. <laughs> also, um, for responding to my messages and messenger. Cause I know you got some of that awkwardness. Sometimes I'm awkward. I'm awkward on social media. I know. And, and thank you for responding. And I'm so glad that you understood what I meant. We don't need to go into all of it, but you're like, I don't remember what you said, but you're like, Beth, I would welcome that or what I can't remember, but you know what I'm talking about. So, so I'm glad you understood what I meant because I'm just so awkward. Um, anyways, I love you and you have a beautiful family and, um, I'm just so proud of you. Okay. All right. Moving along. We're going to talk about Joe. Okay. Oh, Joe. Oh my goodness. Joe bird. First of all, I feel bad because I kept spelling your name with a Y. And the reason I kept doing that is because I had two friends with the last name of bird in high school and they both spelled it with a Y. And so that's why I kept spelling it with a Y. So I apologize for that. But, um, 
I have to tell you before I read your journal entry, I have to tell you that I, well, wait, 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 should I go? No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I have so much to tell. I don't know where to start. So, um, I just want you to know that it was no coincidence that I found you when I did zero coincidence. I found you right as I was temporarily de deactivating Facebook because I wanted to get away from it for a while because I was just dealing with really hard trials and it was making it worse. And right before I left, I found a link in the KLM group and there you were. And Joe, I had been looking for you for so long. You don't even know. You just, you don't know. So, um, okay. Where do I start? Oh, where do I start? Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think where to begin. Okay. So, um, I was going to go on a mission. I like, I knew I had gotten, um, well, actually I had gotten the personal revelation began, um, on July 1st of 1999. So, uh, elder Livingston or Jody was still in the area. And when I had gotten received this per personal, um, revelation that I was going to serve a mission and that revelation continued, um, up until, you know, I, well, it's kind of a long story. Actually, you can watch this. I'm going to put a little picture right here. Watch this. Please watch this video, Joe. Please. Anyone who has not seen this video, you need to watch this video because it is filled with just miracles that happened to me. And I, you know, I knew that I was going to go on a mission and I just couldn't tell anybody. And God was giving me this, in, this information, like, in a beautiful way. And I, and I wasn't allowed to tell anybody. Now I'm allowed to tell people. Now I can talk about it, but it was like this beautiful miracle, this gift that he was giving to me. And I still remember even like being in the Bishop's office and telling him, um, I'm, I think I'm supposed to serve a mission. I feel like I'm going to serve a mission. And he didn't really encourage it because I think because I was, we were just so poor, so poor. And you know, a mission doesn't, it's not just about the thousands of dollars, you know, that it takes, but you have to think about, um, you know, you need medical insurance. You have to get your teeth checked and all this stuff. You have to have luggage. And anyways, I talk about it in that video, but I think he just didn't want to encourage it because he didn't know, like financially it looked impossible, but all of the missionaries in the KLM, I think almost all of them supported, they were supported me. Be well, because I was going out with you guys all the time and I was working with you guys, um, preaching the gospel. Okay. All right. So, so what's the next? Okay. 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 Wait, wait, I got to bring Jody back into this. So Joe, when you and I first met, we did not like each other at all, at all. Do you remember that? We're both very stubborn people. We are, we're stubborn. And I don't know what it was, but I just didn't like you. I just didn't. And, um, I think I'm almost positive. It was Jody. Cause you, you had left for the day. Like you'd gone on splits or what you were gone for the day with another missionary and Jody, and I don't know who came in with him. I don't know if it was Ballard or I don't know. I don't know. But the missionaries, the elders were at my house and you were gone and they were giving me a hard time. They're like, Beth, what's the deal? Why don't you like, why don't you like Elder Bird? What's, what's wrong? And I'm like, well, because I think he's a little arrogant jerk. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I like to keep it real. I like to be honest and tell the truth. Um, and they were like, Beth, he's actually a nice guy. You need to give him a chance. Like, really? Like, you're being way too hard on him. And I'm like, oh, okay, fine, whatever. And so that kind of softened my heart. And then you and I developed a friendship, Joe. Oh, my goodness. Like, it was so wonderful. Um, okay, I can't wait to share this with you. So uh, this was in September 21st of 1999. You were already at home. And... Um, we had kept in contact and then there's a journal entry here that says, um, cause I was hanging out with Stacy Peterson. She was also a missionary in the KLM and you had called and I missed your call. And then I was like, I can't believe bird called me. It made me feel so good. And now I'm going to cry. And, um, you and I had had a conversation cause I was, I didn't want to date. I didn't even want to go to the activities, like none of that. Because first of all, I was already starting to get personal revelation that I was going to serve a mission and I didn't want any distractions. I didn't want any men. And plus I just, I didn't trust them. And I just, I just knew I was going to serve a mission. And so you, you were like, um, Bert says, I'm going to get married. 
this is what it says. Uh, I sometimes wish I weren't so old fashioned, then maybe I wouldn't be so picky. Oh, well, I'm just going to live the commandments. Just keep living. L-I-V-I-N. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Nothing like saying you're going to live the commandments and then quote Matthew McConaughey, right? <laughs> if you know, you know, and I'm, we don't have to go there, but, um, but you were like, Beth, you'll get married. You'll get married. And I think you were trying to, um, trying to build me up as a, as a big brother would, as a friend would, and try to make me feel better about it. Cause I was like, no, I'm not. Um, and then I was, I hadn't told you yet. I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to go on a mission. And so what I want to share with you uh, is this, oh, it's so wonderful. So once I got my miracle and I got my call and the money and everything worked together and I was going to go on a mission, I ended up going out to Utah a month before I entered into the MTC. Um, and I went out there because uh, a family, the family that paid for my mission, they paid for me to fly out there because, well, it's kind of a long story, but I went out there with them and you and I um, got together because we were, we were all celebrating my 21st birthday, right? And you ended up having to work that night so you couldn't come to the get together. And so you ended up another day taking me out and you're like, let's, let's go to the mall or whatever. And I think you took me to lunch or something. And then you're like, let's go shopping. I love this story. Oh, I love it. And I was like, uh, Joe, I can't go shopping. I don't, I don't have any money. And you're like, no, 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 don't worry about that. Let's just go. Let's just go. And so you took me to some kind of like little LDS store in the mall and you were like, okay, Beth, like, what do you need? What do you need? And I'm like, I, 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 I don't need anything, Joe. I'm, I'm okay. And you're like, no. And you, <laughs> you picked up the gospel art kit. Um, and I still have it. And you were like, you're, you're going to Bolivia and these people, like, you're going to want to, um, show them pictures and stuff that will help them to learn. And, and so you bought that for me. And I was like, Joe, like, this is really sweet. And like, you don't have to do this. And you're like, no, I'm doing it. And then you were like, okay, um, what else? What else do you need? Do you have good shoes? You need shoes. Do you have shoes, Beth? Do you have shoes? And I was like, Joe, like my shoes are fine. My shoes are fine. And you were like, Beth, what kind of shoes are you wearing? And they were like real cheap shoes from Payless. Payless. <laughs> you were like, Beth, you're going to be walking in South America. You need good shoes. And because of my pride and I don't know, like I just, I refused. I wouldn't let you buy me shoes. Um, well, you know what they say, pride cometh before the fall. And that's what happened. My shoes did fall apart in Bolivia. <laughs> Dang it, Joe. I should have let you buy me those shoes. I should have because I really did need them. But that's okay. It all worked out. It was fine. Uh, but I just still remember you wanting to buy me shoes. Oh, you were so sweet and wanting to just buy me things and help me. And you were just so supportive. Um, so I want to show you this picture. This picture, um, every time I look at this picture, like there's just a part of you in that picture because do you see... I, I created the, the, the blah, 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 sorry, I'm so excited. I can't talk right. This picture is me with the young women. I was teaching uh, the young women at the time. That was my calling. And this was the poorest area in my whole mission that I went to. This was Punata. Um, and so I ended up getting some poster board when I went into the city, which was like an hour away in Cochabamba. And I bought this poster board and I created like this kind of frame around all of these pictures. I wanted the, I wanted the girls to have pictures because there was nothing hanging up in the, in the room Well, there was nothing hanging up in the whole building. Um, and so I hung up these pictures and I left them there. I left all those pictures there for the girls. And so part of you that was there. Um, anyway, sorry, I'm just so emotional. Oh, it just was so beautiful. And I ended up giving away all, almost all of those pictures. I kept like a couple of them, but I still have that, that blue box. It's in my um, closet. Uh, and I just keep a lot of my um, trinkets for my mission in there. Oh, okay. That's it, Joe. I just want to thank you for being my friend. And I just, again, I know that it was no coincidence that we found each other when we did, because I was getting ready to leave. And I just thought, Oh, I wish I could find Joe. And I think I even looked, looked for you on Instagram, but I probably spelled your name with a Y and that's probably why I couldn't find you. So anyways, all right, Joe, that's it. I just love you so much. And I'm, I'm so proud of you. You have a beautiful family and, and I just love you. Okay. All right, let's move along. Who's next. Okay. Um, okay. So we're going to talk about, oh, so emotional. Um, 
Who's next? I don't remember. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, Josh and Aggie. Aggie. <laughs> you know, my mom, for if, for those of who, who blah, 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 for those of you who are watching, sorry, Aggie, I had some caffeine this morning, so I'm kind of talking a lot really fast. Um, caffeine does that to me. So, um, Sean Egbert, my mom nicknamed him Aggie. So we call him Aggie sometimes. I try not to call him that anymore. I don't know if you ever liked that nickname or not. I know. I never asked you, Sean. Um, but she would nickname her favorites. Well, some of her favorites, like Josh was a favorite, but I don't think he had a nickname, right? But um, some of the nicknames I still remember. I don't know. We don't have to share those. Um, <laughs> anyways, so, because one of them is really funny. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, okay, anyways, let's move along. So Josh and Sean, this is what I want to share with you. Because you guys already know, like you have some of your, um, some of the memories I've shared with you. Well, Josh, I'll get to you in a second because I do want to um, share something with you that's more spiritual. But this one I just want to share because it's so funny. So this journal entry is from um, the 29th of January in 2000. It says, the elders, Jen, Janae, Daniel, and I went sledding. Okay, so Jen Hansen and Janae Brown, we're the Browns, we were not related. Um, and then Daniel was my little brother. So we all went sledding. Um, it was pretty fun until I decided to go on the ramp. It wasn't a very smart thing to do. I was speeding down the hill when I hit the ramp and flew up in the air. So I remember this day like it was yesterday. There was like, I mean, there was so much snow on the ground, right? Yeah, it says it's been snowing all day long and I do not like it at all. And my car will, will not start still. It's driving me insane. I hate the snow. I hate cold weather. Well, I mean, snow's pretty to look at, but I don't want to hang out in it or anything. Like I never did, even when I was a little girl. I, I don't like the cold. And you guys had convinced me to go sledding. And I was like, I don't want to go sledding. I have not been sledding since I was a little girl. And I didn't like it then. And I know I'm not going to like it now. And you guys are like, come on, Beth. So we all went. It was a P day, right? And, and all of us went. I mean, it was like, um, the other sets of elders too, like the Jeff Clarksville elders and then the new Albany elders. We all went. I remember this so clearly in my mind. I was at the top of that hill and they were like, Beth, you got to go. You got to go. All of you guys were like, come on, you got to go down. There was a ramp. Somebody had created a ramp. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost was like, Beth, don't go down that ramp. Don't go, don't go down that ramp. Don't do it. And I'm like, oh. but they're like the peer pressure, right? So I ignored the spirit like an idiot. And I, went, I went flying down that sled, hit the ramp, flew up in the air. The sled went out from underneath my legs. Y'all were just cracking up laughing. I fell right on my tailbone and it actually knocked the wind out of me. I remember like opening my eyes and like everything was green for a second. And then one of you, I don't remember, it was one of the elders like grabbed me by the arms because I was just laying there and I was kind of like, Kind of like in the commercials when they got the birds flying around their heads. <laughs> That's what it felt like. And they're like, are you okay? And I'm like, uh, and I like my tailbone. Before I could even finish the sentence, one of you grabbed me by my arms and lifted me up and put me on my feet, which um, isn't the best thing to do when someone has fallen and gotten hurt. You probably should make sure they're not injured. Uh, but I, I, I was in so much pain. I bruised my tailbone. And I ended up going back to the car and sitting in the car for the rest of the time. And that was like when we had first gotten there. So I didn't really um, do any more sledding after that. Because that was my first time going down the hill, right? And then I was like, I'm done. I'm out. I hate the snow. <laughs> Anyways, okay, that's just a fun memory. Um, and Sean, you know, I just love you. And I thank you for um, all of your support and your friendship. And I'm going to miss our little chats on Messenger. But I just got to go. But, you know, you were another one where um, I think you probably got some awkward things from me on, on Facebook. Actually, I'm pretty positive that you did. And you were like, one of your messages that you sent me afterwards was like, Beth, you make me laugh. That's what I remember. Beth, you make me laugh. Um, and you were, you were trying to, like, make me feel better about it. Like, it's fine. It's fine, Beth. Something. I don't know. Anyways, I thank you. I'm glad you understand me. I'm glad I made you laugh, you know. It was probably awkward, but well, that's me. <laughs> All right. Okay. So Josh, I want to get to you. Um, and then this will be the end of this video. Okay. So Josh, I just, I want to, 
you know, you shared this scripture with me. And remember, there were only three of you in the whole KLM that are written in my scriptures. And this, so this was the 2nd of January of 2000 was when you gave me this scripture. I don't need to read it. But what I want to say about it is that at the time, I had, um, I was getting a lot of persecution from family and friends. And it was really starting to weigh on me. I felt very much alone. It was just awful. And you were so supportive. And I remember you coming over and when I was telling you what was going on, um, you, you read those verses to me, um, and we talked about them and it was just, it was just so comforting. And I, and that's why I wrote it down. And, and it was hard because one of my dearest friends, I had just had a conversation with her. She wanted me to go out with her and like go out to dinner and do something on the weekend. And I was, and I had just gotten paid, but all of my expenses that I had, like my paycheck was going to be gone and I wasn't going to have any money at the time. And, um, and I had just finished paying tithing. Like I had written the check and everything. And, and she was so mad. She was like, Beth, you pay tithing. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, well, how much do you pay? You know, and she got really mad at me. Um, and I was like, listen, this is what I want to do. And, you know, Roy pays tithing too, to his church. Roy was, um, one of my dearest friends at the time and he had become a Christian in, in another Christian church and he, we had had a conversation and he was paying tithing to his church. So when I told her that she was like, well, then you're both stupid. And she hung up on me and I just, it was just so devastating. So, um, I just wanted to give you that, that, um, explanation of why I was just really struggling and extended family and immediate family. They were like kind of persecuting me and watching my every move. And it was just, it was just so hard, but, um, I just want to thank you. I want to thank any, anyone that's out there, any of my KL and brothers that have watched all these videos or you're still watching. I just want you to know that I love you. Um, all right, more to come. Um, and day five, goodness, I don't know how many of these videos I'm going to make. <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Have a great week.